yesterday I was lucky enough to experience something or being a part of something that changed my thinking about the relationship that you are getting in as artists as a creatives with your customers and I think to see it from this point of view is really an outstanding opportunity for your own prosperity for your own development with your clients I was lucky enough to uh, one of my friends is selling actually big boats like yachts really expensive and so on and it was so astonishing to me what kind of relationship he is developing with with his clients with his customers and really I saw it before with a really um, successful artists how they are dealing with clients but the thoughts I will tell you today about they are just scattered right now but nevertheless I think they have some value for you so stick with me um, I saw this before with successful artists but now that I witnessed this with, with this person how he is making these deals that where the boats are costing even up to millions so it came to me the way he is getting into the relationship with the client and it was so astonishing because perhaps you know some of the car, car salesmen or the used car salesmen that are a little bit how to put it sleazy that are pretending to get a, in a friendship in a relationship with the customers and they just want to get sell themselves something and that's it but this yesterday was a really a eye opener and it was really opening also for me <clears throat> my how I am remembering how the really successful and, and prosperous artists are selling their art because it is not just about selling something finding a, a customer and just telling them what they want to, he uh, to hear and then just get rid of what they are selling them to and, and that's it these people are really building a relationship that is going far beyond a satisfied customer they are seeing the possibility that the customer in the end is the extension of their how to put it in words of the, of the process of developing better better craftsmanship and better products so this person is going into the sales process not as someone who is just handling objections and then pushing the sales through but for him this is a process of innovation this is gathering information and uh, insights of becoming better so it is not only about giving the customer the, the feeling that really this salesperson cares about uh, the objections and so on but really to understand the perspective of the client even better and this information this this insights he's using to develop better um, he can uh, influence the marketing but he's not only influencing the marketing and making the marketing for the products better through the insights but he's also influencing the way the yachts will be developed and the same goes for artists artists who are very successful in selling their art or perhaps selling the skills when you are creative you can also actually sell you your abilities your skills and so on they are care they care not only about the, the profit from this one transaction they are actually in a relationship that is giving the client the feeling that they are influencing what in future will be developed and this is giving the client an enormous satisfaction and also giving the artist the possibility to um, enforce their vision because they have the possibility to see their vision the most important thing in their life through the eyes of someone else it is like seeing it from a different perspective or mirroring in in the reality because very often especially artists are so caught up in their own uh, art in their own life that they are forgetting <clears throat> 
what values are seeing other people in it and the client the relationship with your client is the best possibly the possibility to mirror your vision in a reality to get insights to get uh, um, uh, perhaps ideas that would really make your own vision stronger and in using your clients or giving the clients the possibility of influence they are winning not only a easy sale because their client is knowing that actually this is a relationship someone is going into me he is understanding my needs the values that i want and is going really into it and and is building this up this relationship so i i have the confidence and i have the trust this is a side effect but also the client is having the, the feeling that together with with the artist something else is developing in art it is a, a beneficial relationship they are getting it and this is also of a great value for for artists this is something we are forgetting that actually clients are not only seeking um, a, a quick fix okay there are clients that are just seeking a quick fix like someone has a birthday and he's calling you up because you are a portrait painter and he wants just the portrait to be done but in the end these are not really the profitable clients these are the clients you are you can usually sell to but the real profitable clients are having some values some visions that are standing out to them and this vision <coughs> these values are going beyond the need of a quick fix they want to be in involved into the heritage of this value and you are in a way as an artist the extension of this value this this client is seeking to build up so actually the client becomes less of of the end point but one of the suppliers of the material of the resources that is building certain values let's um, talk a little bit about the yacht sale yacht building the people that really are spending this lot of money for yachts millions they are not only interested in <clears throat> in having a boat and then go out with the family on weekend with the boat and having a nice time of course this is part of it what they are doing but uh, what they are doing but nevertheless these are people that are interested in values like freedom perfection and so on and their whole life is built is very often around this value like like perfection and this is really a manager that perfected his skills as a manager and that's why he's having millions to spend on such a boat and in a way this person is not only seeking to, to, to make the money of course there are successful businessmen that are just seeking to make the money that's their own but the most successful people are people that are actually uh, that are on, the, on their own path to build some values in our world and when there is a possibility through supporting uh, or being part of building perfection on water with such a boat he's contributing into it and he wants to be a part of this process and the person he's buying the boat from it's not only someone he wants to be sold on and just buy the boat he wants that this is a chain that is starting with his values going with the salesperson with this boat this salesperson is also influencing the engineers and together they are becoming a chain working on certain values so as an artist you can understand that you best most valuable clients will be the one that are in a chain of building the values that are important to you and to your vision when you are allowing it the clients to becoming the chain of building up a certain values you have not only the easy sale of, of your artworks but you are also having a client that is remaining a client for long years and is perhaps one of your best contributions of insights of inspiration of ideas because together you are working 
on a certain value on a certain idea and he is like other people are contributing to you to you to your art to the manifestation of your values and and in your vision like the art supplier is providing uh, uh, the, the art supplies and the art materials for you the client is also a supplier to this manifestation of of this idea of this value he is um, contributing inside and the resource of money and just what you have to find is the people for which the values are so important that they are that they are willing to support it with the necessary money to make it appear in the best possible uh, way it is most likely also like with your uh, art supplies perhaps you are right now in the stage uh, where you are just buying art supplies from from a uh, over internet or just it is a shop but with times you are you know that there are certain producers of you oil colors that understands the values you're working on that specialize on oil colors perhaps that are let's say as example outstanding for uh, for, for portrait painting because the skin colors and the, the materials are just right for, for, for this purpose and they are producing not only some paint but they are specialized in something because they are knowing the value of letting people appear lifelike in, in paintings and when you once have found not only an art supplier but someone who is sharing the same vision the same values you have found a key ingredients for for you uh, artistic success and the same goes for clients there are clients that will just contribute their necessary money they want their problem fix and so on but there are clients out there who are actually have the same values the same vision like you and they want to contribute also the best like the uh, like the maker of the uh, 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 oil uh, colors he's also contributing the best because together you and he are working on the same bigger vision so seeing you your client uh, and thinking what is your future vision with this client that you will uh, you will together uh, be on the path to together develop together um, build something that has so much greater is the most is important step that you can you can make the same goes for your art materials when you are right now someone who is using something to get that um, your job done most likely you are missing out of the possibility of the best you can get to produce the best and the same goes for clients to find not only clients but the one who are sharing your values will be the best to your progress to your expression to your manifestation of those values and of those um, ideas and together when you are agreeing with this client about the future goals where is this journey going through this client is becoming someone that you don't have to call up hey what's going on do you need some paintings no this client is actually interested in the progression of, of a certain value of a certain vision and when you are agreeing on the goals where this is heading this clients will stay involved in the process like let's say um, the, uh, let's go back to the yacht this person who just bought the yacht will be stay interested in the development of perfection for him perfection on water is it what it's what it is all about and when he is having this salesperson that is not only just selling but is involving involved in the process of creating the perfection on water this client after some years will ring up again and ask what is perfection uh, on water doing right now are there certain developments this client is always stayed staying interested not because just uh, to buy a boat but he's interested in the 
goals that are that are set up he's interested in the development of certain values and he's interested staying interested in the development of a certain vision because for him a boat is not just a boat it is for him perfection on water and when you once have found out a client when you are willing to open up to those clients for that are not interested in just having some paintings on the wall like like just having wall cover but they are interested in certain ideas values and visions that are represented through you through through your art those clients will come again and again because they are now becoming partners on your journey partners that are supporting you with uh, with uh, on the financial uh, side so um, it is really wise the decision not only to seek clients someone you are selling your art to but to think about how do you expect to grow together with your client how is your client useful for you beyond the uh, just the financial support and when you are seeking for such clients of course they are perhaps not so easy to find like someone who is just needing a fix but nevertheless when you are starting to think about the values about the vision you have to manifest and you are seeking the people that are interested in in the manifestation of this certain vision of this certain value you have not only a person to sell you art through, uh, to but you have a, a partner that is together with you on the same uh, quest and you can learn so much more about yourself and your art when you are allowing it to rethink you your perspective on clients to see in them really uh, as a as a kind of partner as a kind of influence when you want it to of course there are people who are just pushing the, uh, their ideas on you it is not about this it is about really to have a certain surrounding to have a certain network that is all about certain values and together you are you and the network is is on the quest to achieve to manifest um, those values and you are when you are know when you can express when you are thinking a lot about your values and the values and the vision of your art you are becoming in a way magnetic to those people and it is really a good idea to allow people to talk about the values the vision that they are seeing in your art because once you have found the people that are actually seeking this sort of, of vision they are people who you don't even have to try to sell their art to because they are seeing this values this this vision in your art and they are wanted want to become part of it and in this way you never ever have to sell again something to someone you don't have ever again to be pushy let's say like with the yachts your art is all about freedom and and perfection perhaps it is uh, landscape painting a painting of ocean whatever it is when you are finding the uh, people who are also all about freedom and they are all about perfection and they are seeing these values they want not only have part of this don't want all, uh, only to have the representation the manifestation of those values and of the, of this vision as a part of their life to, to to hang it up as a painting but they also want to contribute they also want to be the person that perhaps they cannot paint or they cannot express it but nevertheless they are able to contribute to the manifestation of those ideas through support you uh, through through them through the money they are giving you so there you are also giving the client ch the chance to be a part of, of creation and when you have once switched you you thinking about I'm finishing just my painting and I'm just selling it and, and that's it when you are extending this idea that you are seeing in the client the extension of the artwork the extension of the process of manifesting values and, and visions into the world you are you will find 
many willing people that will support your art. They will support it the best art materials. They will support it also through um, financial contribution by buying your art. And this is giving you a, such a bigger why and motivation to sell your art. Because you are now not going out there and seeking just uh, clients. You are going out there and they, you are seeking contributors. You are seeking partners to manifest certain visions and certain values in, in this world. And this is a far better why, far better motivation than just to try to sell you art. Just to switch your mind to finding the people that are that are seeking the same values, are having the same visions, it is making it so much easier to find clients because to be a pushy, sleazy salesman is something that artists and creatives are really not very good. So it is in a way the only chance you can have to to put you the, the price a level higher on your art. When you are stop selling just pictures or stop selling just certain skills, but you are seeking to s not to sell, to seek contributors to the manifestation of, of certain values, it is a game changer and it is certain an idea to think about because I have experienced it many times that artists are actually going far beyond just pushing through a sales and yesterday I could experience that actually not yachts are sold, sold but certain visions like perfection on water and, and freedom are bringing their extraordinary prices so it is worth to uh, think about it and I hope it this this idea this perspective to see it from this point of view has some value uh, for you nevertheless I hope you today you have time to sit down and rethink the values uh, that your own artistic vision and you start to think about who is the person I want to get together to to grow even a uh, better manifestation of, of these values and uh, those ideas and uh, such and this uh, vision because together with your clients those values are so much stronger than what you can do uh, just on your own so if you have the time sit down write down their values that the vision behind you are and think about it who is seeking to manifest the same uh, vision the same values as you and in those people you will find your best and longest uh, long-term clients. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye-bye.